Published 1438 EDT, the 28th of October 2017. Updated 1555 EDT, the 28th of October 2017. Strictly Come Dancing host Claudia Winkleman and her co-host Tess Daly shunned fancy dress during the show's Halloween special on Saturday night. The 45-year-old presenter's decision to not dress up comes three years after her then 8-year-old daughter's Halloween costume caught fire, leaving her with severe burns on her leg after her witch outfit caught fire. Since the life-changing accident, Claudia has become a staunch campaigner for safety and regulations around the Halloween period and quality control on the materials used and flammable nature of outfits. Scroll down for video Simple Look Strictly Come Dancing host Claudia Winkleman and her co-host Tess Daly shunned fancy dress during the show's Halloween special on Saturday night. Claudia suffered every parent's worst nightmare when her young daughter was burned in a horrific Halloween accident in 2014. As the Strictly live show got off to a typically flamboyant start, the entire cast of the show were clad in Fancy dress save for Claudia and Tess, who were possibly paying respect to the campaign against unsafe costumes. Nearly three years on, she admitted that she is still haunted by her daughter Matilda's screams after her Halloween costume caught fire, and that life will never be the same. The star relived the agonizing moment of the accident, saying, I don't like Halloween because three years ago it turned out our screams were real. She went up is the only way I can describe it. It was a spark, and she screamed out for me. Loki the 45-year-old presenter's decision to not dress up comes three years after her then 8-year-old daughter's Halloween costume caught fire leaving her with severe burns on her leg after her witch outfit caught fire horrifying it was like those horrific birthday candles that you blow out and they come back. It was really fast. It was definitely life-changing for Might was like those horrific birthday candles that you blow out and they come back. It was really fast. It was definitely life-changing for me. Claudia went on to say that she couldn't remember life before the accident, and that she wished she had been the one dressed up like a witch. Since the accident the brunette beauty has called on parents to make sure that they check the safety and quality of children's costumes, so that other youngsters don't suffer in the same way. Emotional since the life-changing accident, Claudia has become a staunch campaigner for safety and regulations around the Halloween period and quality control on the materials used and flammable nature of outfits. The terrifying ordeal took place while the family were trick-or-treating with friends in West London, two years ago. Claudia said I was talking to somebody and then I heard her shout and she was on fire. It feels like she was on fire for hours, but the surgeon said it was probably just seconds. The star shares Matilda with husband of 17 years Chris Thykia. She also has sons Jake, 13 and Arthur, 6. In an interview with the BBC's WACOG programme in 2015, the Strictly Come Dancing co-host spoke about the incident for the first time, explaining that the accident had been life-changing for both her and her daughter, adding I can't remember life before it. Terrifying the ordeal took place while the family were trick-or-treating with friends in West London, two years ago. Claudia raises Matilda with husband of 17 years Chris Thykia and the couple also have sons Jake, 13 and Arthur, 6. Shay called on parents to be vigilant about what materials they allow their children to wear and to avoid flammable fabrics, saying I didn't, and it cost us. Claudia spoke of her regret at putting Matilda in the supermarket bought which costume of hat, cape, stripy tights and a flowing skirt. The outfit caught alight after touching an open flame and burned so fiercely that neighbor Jamie Poulton suffered second-degree burns while putting it out with his bare hands. Matilda had severe burns, particularly to one leg. The TV presenter said I was talking to somebody and then I heard her shout and she was on fire. It feels like she was on fire for hours, but the surgeon said it was probably just seconds. She went up is the only way I know how to describe it. It was a spark and she screamed out for me. It was like those horrific birthday candles that you blow out and they come back. It was really fast. It was fast. It wasnt fire like it seen. Advice since the accident the brunette beauty has called on parents to make sure that they check the safety and quality of children's costumes so that other youngsters don't suffer in the same way.